Look at you, hacker. A p- p- pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you r- run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems, nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek, fast, revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will t- step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go in. To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get by. Welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See how it changes where you look? That means you're in shoot mode. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode, where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next training station. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right-click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the Tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left-clicking and dragging them around. To drop an to use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right-click. This will activate the lift. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. 
Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right clicking on them. See the crate in front of you? To search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right click. One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA This message display. is coming from the audio log Currently, you just picked up. Of your PDA you can use your PDA empty. at any time now, to play any audio, audio log or form. email you've received. Now it's time to learn in about the field, the PDA play. is also Jump. used for keeping Simple track of your space current bar. mission objectives and obtaining Some health information. Can be mantled onto by holding down the spacebar. Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high places in front of To climb a ladder, simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. You've done well. Remember, if you're unclear on any... If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced tra... Alright, wannabe. Good to have you on. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key and hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the fire, some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy-based items. Weapons, batteries, you name it. Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other Inside, we'll teach you the basic... Welcome. You'll notice the object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory, but are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left-click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright Security or dark. Security access compromised. To successfully Security hack, access you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack and you might break the item you're working on, or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. Security access compromised. Security access compromised. You can use nanites to buy items from Hi there. To Please use a right click on it, value then wrap. left click on the item you wish to purchase. The item you purchase Please will drop into the selection. slot below. Make sure you pick up your purchases before you leave. Hi there. Please make your selection. Thank you, thank you for choosing Value Wrap. You learned the basics of the technical skills. There are several... Inside, you will learn... We've provided you... The red bar at the lower left of your screen tells you how many side points you have. Psi points symbolize the current ability to use your Psi powers. Psi hypos replenish your Psi points. Try using a... This Psi amp amplifies your Psi powers and lets you project them into the real world. 
To equip it, pick it up, and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psi Amp activates your currently selected Psi Discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, Cryokinesis and Kinetic Redirection. Go into Use Mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psi Disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psi Disciplines from higher tiers. Use Cryokinesis Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbit. Welcome aboard the space station Chesapeake Bay, sailor. It looks like you've picked up some standard weapon skills at basic on Coronado Island. Now it's time for your tour of duty. Your tour will consist of four postings over four years. In this man's navy, you're given a choice of three different postings a year. It's up to you to decide what kind of career you want to have, so choose wisely. Just approach a shuttle bay to receive a briefing on a posting. If you think that posting is right for you, head into that bay to accept the assignment. The UNN Lucille. The UNN Lucille. The UNN Lucille. The UNN Lucille is looking for an ops training officer to learn the ship's navigation and data control systems. You'll get your feet wet with the high tech systems. Laverne, Florida, the UNN, the UNN Carfax, the UNN P Laverne, Florida hosts the Navy's premier tactical training school. Well, maybe The Navy strong. The Navy maintain. The Navy's Mary Curie. The Navy. Ma the Navy strongly encourages every sailor to undertake some amount of zero G training.
Restoring memory. Restoring memory. <laughs> Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the computer ops staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Watch out. I'm getting strange readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable due to... Move! Take cover! Critical decompression hazard in the cryo-recovery suite. Evacuate immediately. access codes out of cryo A again, like I've got nothing better to do. I think Grassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to 45100. That should Warning. be easy enough to remember. Decompression event imminent. Please move immediately to cryo recovery B. Decompression event imminent. This power cell is dead. There should be a recharger nearby. Just use it and it will recharge all the power driven devices in your possession. After you've recharged the cell, plug it into the auxiliary power. Good. You've managed to get out before the whole area depressurized. I've just uploaded you some cybernetic modules. You can use them to upgrade your cybernetic rig at the upgrade units in this area. There are four types of units in the next room. One for each subsystem of your cybernetic gear. Stats, psi, weapons, and tech. But use the modules carefully. They're hard to come by.
somebody let me out? I can't find my card. Please, let me out of here. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules. sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I find it On most decks you'll find a quantum bio reconstruction device. Xerxes shut them all down, but I've discreetly put them back online. You'll need to interface with each machine locally to provide a quantum entanglement sample. Once you do that, the device will be able to rebuild your body essentially from scratch. It's not pleasant, but it's preferable to slow decomposition. I got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau City. Kerenskin was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair, and you could see these lumps on the side of his neck. And that smell. I told him he should go see Dr. Watts, but he told me to mind my own business. Well, la -dee da Somebody's hacked into this thing again. Please I'm gonna tell Delacroix. Security system online. I've been unable to get in touch with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shaft shorted out the primary this access channel. And that means we'll all be on a... That insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power in the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably in the crew. Xerxes has control of the ship's security system. Avoid or destroy any security cameras you see. You can hack security computers to power down the cameras too, if you're good enough. But don't botch the job, or you'll set off the alarm yourself. Your corpse is useless to me.
make your selection. Hi there. Please make your selection. a chemical storeroom where you can find the resources you need to research the artifacts you'll find around the ship. Don't try to carry around all the chemicals at once. It's impractical and unnecessary. Your research software will tell you what chemicals it needs and when.